So I still get a lot of comments on my solar videos. I wanted to talk about a ground mount. You know, if you have the room, a ground mount is the way to go for a lot of different reasons. The main reason being is you can build your pitch and your direction to optimize your solar production. I even had several comments of people saying they didn't believe I was generating as much as I was because they checked the numbers and this is what the average solar installation produces. Well, most solar installations are up on the roof and the roof may not be angled at the right angle. It may not be facing exactly the right direction and uh, you know you, you end up losing efficiency with all that. When you do a ground mount, you build that exactly where you want it and it's going to give you the best possible efficiency because of that. Panels are also more efficient when they're run at cooler temperatures. Installed against a hot roof, the same panels are not going to produce as much power as they will on a ground mount where there's plenty of airflow to keep the temperature down. Now there's another thing here. I get a lot of comments about having a solar edge optimizer installation on an array that is not shaded. In other words, there's no trees around here to cast a shadow on my array. For those of you that aren't familiar, an optimizer is a, is a device that sits on each panel and helps that panel produce to its maximum. Without optimizers, each panel is going to default to the lowest common denominator in that series. And people say, well, you didn't need the optimizers. Well, look, right now, I have some shaded panels. It's been a couple days since it snowed. I haven't had a chance to get down here. So this has greatly increased my power output the last couple of days. The 10 panels on the right are a series. Well, none of those would be producing anything because one of them is completely under snow. One of them has maybe 5% of the panel showing. Because I have optimizers, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, half of seven, half of eight producing power right now. Same with the, uh, the second uh, group of 10. I only have one panel affected. That whole group would be knocked down to that little bit of power from that one panel. Because I've got optimizers, I'm, I'm producing a lot more power. So here's my power output before going out to clean off the panels, getting around 5,400 watts. The other thing about a ground mount, you gotta clear that snow off of there. Try doing this on a roof. Pretty heavy snow, not so easy to get off of there. Would be a heck of a lot harder standing on a pitched roof. And here we are after cleaning it off. Just over 7,000. Another big advantage to a ground mount is they're easy to work on. If you have any issues with wiring and need to troubleshoot, it's all right there, well within your reach. And finally, a huge advantage is you don't have to punch holes in your roof, and when your roof needs to be replaced, what are you going to do? You've got to take all those panels off, all the mounts off, reinstall a new roof, and then punch holes in your brand new roof. No thanks. Here's an estimate I found online of how much it costs to remove your solar panels and then reinstall them when you need to replace your roof. Estimate between $1,500 and $6,000 to remove and reinstall. That makes the initial cost of a ground mount a little less painful. So disadvantages of a ground mount, you gotta build all this. This stuff's not free, this stuff's expensive. Those posts are all set in concrete, and this is four inch heavy wall galvanized pipe and brackets, all of that going along the top. That's all got to be constructed. Then you've got this aluminum, but you'd have that type of bracket on a roof mount as well. So, uh, but you know, there's $750 in concrete just in, in this. Uh, and this steel is significantly more expensive than that. And then you got to put it all together. A lot of labor here. So there is initial upfront cost. It takes up real estate, you gotta have the room for it. And then some people don't like the appearance of it. Uh, mine, I've got it down in this bottom here. My house is way up here. Elevation drops that way, but it rises everywhere else. So for most areas of my farm, you can't even see this. So uh, that's why we tucked it down here, kind of away from everything. And one more thing I wanna mention, for maximum efficiency, you'd want your panels always pointed at the sun. So you'd want this thing on some kind of motorized mount that would tilt and rotate to follow the sun. The issue here is this thing is big and heavy. In order to do that, you would need a massive mechanism here that would cost you a fortune, probably more than, than all of the panels and the whole ground mount combined. The reality is it just doesn't make sense to do that. If you want to generate a little more power, 
uh, just add a few more panels to your system because uh, you're not going to get that much more out of it by doing a, a mechanical tracking mechanism. My ground mount system is made by Iron Ridge. I will leave a link in the description. It is very well built and uh, I think this thing's going to outlive me. Certainly keeps my panels secure in high winds and will probably be there and available when the panels need replaced in 30 years. Thanks for watching and let me know what you think in the comments. See you next time.